also have another centenarian. Joe, you are 100 years old, correct? Yeah, right. You landed on uh, Utah Beach Utah two Beach. days after the D-Day landing, right. correct? Right. So D-Day plus two. What was your first experience of combat? What was the first time people were shooting at you? We got on a farm between a valley. Germans were on the other side, and Joe was on this side. I says, well, I'll dig a, a foxhole for myself. So I started digging the foxhole, and I got hit with a machine gun bullet. So that was like, how long after you landed on the beach did you get hit with a machine gun bullet? That, that was probably about a week or so. A week? Yeah. Only a week? Yeah. So you'd only been in combat a week, and it hit you in the, sh right. In the shoulder? Right. Right shoulder. It didn't go through me because I was bent over when I was digging the hole. It went underneath and out. How long were you given? I mean, we were so short of fighting men by August uh, after D-Day that they were taking guys who weren't fully healed up yet and putting them back in. Yeah, they were, they were, in other words, before you get finished in the replacement pool, they'd take it back. And that's when what happened to you. Yeah. You got uh, put back in. No, they put me in the MPs then. I was living like a king. <laughs> so after the, you, you were wounded a, a second time, I think with a little piece of shrapnel in your head, right? Right. And that was it. After that second time you were wounded, they gave you this great job of being an MP, guarding General Patton's plane? Right, right. Hey, living like a king, I tell you. <laughs> you living like a king. <laughs> right. I mean, General Patton is considered a great general, but he wasn't like the nicest guy in the world, right? Well, I don't know. They, they, I think they built him up too much. Okay. Because he, when, you, when, you, when you saluted him and you got on the airplane with him, it's just like he was with, with a regular soldier. As long as you were spit and polished and perfectly clean and you saluted him, right. he left you alone. Right. You never talked to him or anything like that, no, right? No, he didn't get a chance. No way. In other words, he stays away from me. The, the farther away from you, the better. <laughs> yeah. Right you are. Tell me, I'll ask you what I asked Jim. Do you remember coming back home? Coming back home? Yeah, because I was in the uh, MPs then, say, and then that was a different story. I think you told me you came in through New York Harbor. Right. And you saw the Statue of Liberty? Right. What did that feel like? To I saluted it, the Statue of Liberty. You saluted it? Yes, sir. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Zimbicki, for coming out today, 100 yeah. years old. Yeah.